You know, I was talking to somebody the other day, a DJ who uh, does weddings, who told me that after sitting with a client for two hours and getting a really uh, uh, a good feeling about them hiring him, he found out that they went ahead and they hired their friend. In other words, it was like a relative or something like that. Say, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my friend Dave do this. I'm gonna fr let my uncle Mike do this. And he was so angry. He just did not, he, he did not know what to say. He was just so frustrated. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Little Dog and Pony Show. This is Bill, this is Creative License, and thanks again for being uh, someone who checks in with me every single week. Uh, if you haven't checked out my sponsors like uh, ElectroVoice for your speakers and your microphones, all of your sound needs, I mean, they're the best. Uh, if you don't have a record pool yet, I would consider Promo Only. I believe Promo Only is the best one in the world. I use them, you should use them too. Uh, also, there's DJ Event Planner, a great CRM. There's a DJN TV, Disc Jockey News. Uh, I've been a part of that organization for quite a long time. And then I have my workshop, The Entertainment Experience. If you want to know more about it, it's gonna, uh, I'm putting some more seminars and things online so you can be a part of it. Just go to entertainment-experience.com or check out the Entertainment Experience Facebook page. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about all of that, but I, 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 I really want to get to this. He was just so mad, right? I mean, I, can, I, I get it. I get it. You, you are the guy who knows what you're doing, right? They're paying you, so why wouldn't they pay you? I mean, you do this for a living, right? I mean, Uncle Joe, he's got a couple of iPhones and a mixer, or he's going to do it on his computer. Uh, he's never done this before, but why would they trust him when you're the guy who does it for a living? Well, the, the answer to that question is really a, another question from me to you. Why would they trust him and not you? Have you really thought about that? I mean, do you realize that not hiring you is not personal? Hiring the DJ for them was personal, okay? So who do they trust more than the professional DJ who says he does it for a living? Well, believe it or not, most people want to trust the person they like the most, they trust the most, they know the most someone who's going to have their best interest at heart in everything they do. And honestly, DJs in the world have not really taken their clients into, 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 thought, and into their thought process as much as they've taken themselves into their thought processes. And, and I know that because that's what your clients think of you. That's what people out there hiring DJs think of DJs, is that we are just up there for ourselves. We're just up there playing music for ourselves, showing off our gear for ourselves, dancing around and singing and ignoring the customer, ignoring the people at the party and just doing what they wanna do. This is how you're perceived by 99% of the public. So why would they hire someone other than a professional? Well, because that person in their eyes cares more about them than you do. So now with that information, you need to look at how you're coming off and how you're showing up to the people that are considering hiring you. Because when it comes down to it, they don't care whether you're professional. They don't care if you do it for a living. They don't care about how great your gear is and how good of a mixer you are. And uh, They care that you care. Somewhere in the time that you spend with them, they need to get that you care about their party as much or more than they do. Their party in the entire party, not just the stuff that you're doing, because the stuff that you're doing, they know, can affect the entire party. So if they're going to give that to you, if they're going to say you should play the music, they know that if they don't have the guy that they can trust, then why wouldn't they get Uncle Joe? Because Uncle Joe at least loves them enough to do what they're told and to do what, you know, and, and to care for the party. He might not do as well. He probably won't. But to say that is to insult their Uncle Joe. So, once again, you want to be better at this. Quit talking about what you can do and start creating some, side of a, some kind of a rapport for the people across the table so that when they're done, and when you're done, they get that you care about their event more than they do, and as much as they do. And then hiring Uncle Joe seems kind of silly then, don't you think? What do you think? 
write your comments below, reach out to me, tell me I'm a big idiot. I got two daughters and a wife. I'm told that on a regular basis. I'm okay. Until next time, this is Bill. This is Creative License.